In this session, I've decided to jump ahead a little bit and attach the fiberglass fairings to the rudder, vertical stabilizer, and stabilator. I figured it might be a little easier to do rather than trying to do it while these parts are attached to the tail cone. I found my old sanding block from a previous project. Looks a little worn out. The rudder and vertical stabilizer fiberglass will need to be trimmed back, leaving a half inch for riveting. I trimmed off my metal ruler just to show a half inch from the end. Yep, it's a half inch. Now for sanding. I'm reusing my one before wood block and a cut off closet dowel rod, which I'll wrap in 80 grit sandpaper. The dowel rod will work nicely when forming the curve in the rear of the vertical stabilizer fiberglass. Now to draw the cut lines in the fiberglass with a fine point sharpie. Now to mark the stabilator fairings. The stabilator marking is a little bit different. It's not a half inch, it's 15 30 seconds. Now to remove the excess fiberglass. Wow, this is gonna take a long time. Time to call in the heavy artillery. I'm going to need my mask. Fiberglass dust is nasty. Much easier. Now to make a nice straight edge with the wooden block. Placing the rudder fairing into the rudder is a little hard to do, since one of the overlapping skins in the front tends to block the fairing from going in. I use my dental pick to pull the skin forward a little bit to get the fairing to slide in. I use my rubber hammer with some very light taps to get a nice tight fit. Now it's time to final drill the rivet holes. I use a number 30 drill bit with a drill stop to make sure I don't go in too far. Now I'll do the same thing on the flip side. Now for the rest of the holes. I'll drill and clico as I go along. Now to take everything apart and do some cleanup.
Now I'll click everything back together and put in the pop rivets. Now I'll repeat the same process with the vertical stabilizer fiberglass fairing. Next I'll do a trial fit and mark where the fairing will be cut off. Vance makes this cut a little easier by providing a scribe in the fiberglass. Here I'm filling in the scribe with a sharpie to make it a little easier to see for the trimming. Now for the rough trim with the sander. Another trial fit. Looks good. Next, I'll remove as much of the excess fiberglass as I can. Here's where the dowel rod with the sandpaper comes in handy for the final touches. Now for the fit. The side clamp helps hold the bearing in position. Time to drill and clico. Now for the other side. few light taps with the rubber hammer to make things tight. Now to drill and clico everything. Now for the other side. All done. Time for some cleanup. Time to reattach everything and check for clearance. Now I'm going to use my homemade bolt holder to temporarily attach the rudder to the vertical stabilizer so I can check the clearance. This is a little difficult to check since the bottom hinge of the rudder is not yet attached. Trimming the vertical stabilizer fairing can still be done after everything is bolted on. Time for pop rivets.
vertical stabilizer and rudder done. Now for the stabilator fairings. These are a little more difficult to fit since there are a lot of modifications that need to be made. Both stabilator fairings have been trimmed and are now ready to be custom fit. There are some pre-existing pump rivets and spars that must be allowed for when fitting the flanges. It requires some cutouts in the flange of the fairings. Here I'm marking the fairing flange where the cutouts will be made. Now for the other side. There are some places on the stabilator where a pop rivet and spar are close to each other. Turns out my scotch Bright wheel is about the same width, so I decided to use it to remove the material. Now for some cleanup with a file. For clearance for the pop rivets, a round file worked nicely. Now for the fit. It's a little tricky getting it in between the skins, but it goes. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get the ribs to line up, but a simple nail set will do the trick. Now for the rest of the drilling and the Clecos. Time for pop rivets. One last thing, the mold used for these fairings leaves a slight ridge on the edge. I'm going to sand it down. Thanks for watching my video. Everything that I've done in this video are things that I've chosen to do. Not necessarily what you should do. Use your own judgment.